In this video, we are going to learn how to do this cool effect and that is if I scroll down, you could see that images slowly pop up one by one like this. And the design that I found was asked on a Facebook group for Elementor where someone wanted to make something like this from this grape agency. And if I scroll down, you could see this is what shows up. And I wanted to create this in Elementor because it looked cool. And also someone was asking in the Facebook group, so I wanted to also try making it. You can actually get it as a free template from my website. So you can click on download and then get it from my website. And then there will also be a link for the code on my website, which is blog. So if you want to create it manually. So how about we just get started? First thing, I have a container, which is like 100 VH, so that is full screen and just added some text in the middle okay what i'm simply going to do next is going to add the images so i'm just going to add an image like this and you could also use like any image but i have created like square images like this so that they look nicer something like this and then go into custom and then you could choose any size but i have decided to choose like 20 percent maybe more uh, again it looks 20 percent right because we have given it box right so if i make this full width it would be bigger but it doesn't really matter because we are going to give this one position absolute and when we use position absolute it does not really matter if you use boxed or uh, full width it would just always be like this size okay i also like to keep the width as 100 just in case okay so we are going to make it 20 uh let's place it wherever we want ideally you want to use percentage not pixels so that it is like responsive for like different devices let's keep it around here just play around with it until you find something that works i'm going to give it a background color so if i go in here background make this white nothing's going to show up but if we give some padding let's shoot 20 on the right uh, 20 on right left 20 on top and 80 at the bottom something like this maybe 50 would be good enough let's scroll down and give it a border of i guess 10 pixels and we got something which looks like this which is similar like to stuff like this we can even make this bigger because it's looking way too small let's do 25 so it's like 25 percent of the screen size I'm also going to make this be around like this. Okay, why not? And then we can go into transform, go into R, rotate, and then play around with it until you find something that looks nicer like this. Now we need to just give it a CSS class, which you could find it on my website. If I go in here and you could see, I actually have two versions of the code. So version one and version two, I'll explain what they do. But before that, let's just choose this CSS class, which is DM scroll reveal image wrapper. Let's copy it and give it to the container. And then the second one, which is DM scroll reveal image. Let's copy this and let's give it to the image. Like this. Now, all you simply need to do is duplicate this switch and then play around with the values until you find something that works. Something like this. And then keep changing the image. And I'm just going to fast forward this part. You just have to like move it to your own liking. And then place it however you want. Okay. So let's just duplicate it and I'll just fast forward it. So this is what I've gotten. Obviously, you could play around with it and fill it completely. But for this tutorial, I'm just making this many. And also make sure to go into your container and giving it overflow hidden. So that anything that goes outside your container is hidden. Because if you don't do this, then there would be like left and right, uh, what you call scroll bar. So like this scroll bar would pop up at the bottom, usually for mobile devices and all. So it's just better to keep it overflow hidden. So anything goes outside just gets cut off. Next, we are just going to add an HTML widget and always make sure to add it at the end. 
you could place it wherever you want as long as it's at the end of all your elements you could even place this at the bottom of your page if you want let's do it with the first version and i'll explain to you both versions but first version is something that does not give you much control over it but it still works so i just copied this and i'm just going to do preview i should actually remove this smiley one because it is turning into what you call that emoji i don't know why how to stop it not turning into emoji and if i scroll down you could say it is working but it's not looking smooth but let's just uh, scroll down scroll down and see and you could say it just works nicely though okay so i'm at reach end if i place some more uh, space at the bottom it would work nicely but you could say it's not feeling good it's not good to scroll for example if i go in this one you could see that it it moves smooth or smoothly so if i stop scrolling you could see it moves a bit like this and for that you could actually use is a plugin or you could just use the code that i have provided at the bottom of the page so if i scroll down i actually got this from other youtube video and i cannot find it so i just decided to add it on my website instead of linking there it's just lenis code so i'm just going to duplicate it it uses like lenis js to add it if i find that web, uh, youtube video i'll just link it but for the time being you could just use it from my website you could obviously use any other plugin for smooth scrolling or you could use like if your theme provides the option to add smooth scrolling you could use that instead of relying on this stuff and you could see it like smooth it's much more smoother like this so each image comes one after another let's see what this code is and how you could like customize it to your own liking so you could see we have end thousand percent around here so it takes 10 times the size of this container to reach the end of it because 100 percent is this much right so thousand would be like uh, 10 times that if i let's say go in here and then turn this to let's say 200 which is double the size of this container we would just need to scroll 200 uh, or double the size of it to reach till the end you could see how quickly they are reaching now we didn't have to scroll much so based on what you change here if you change this to like 1500 or whatever that's the amount of scroll which would be needed uh, you could even turn this to true like this for the markers temporary and then uh, at the end make sure to turn it to false which would add these markers and you would see that as soon as this touches it goes like this and now it's like much more faster and when it reaches end it just stops i haven't added like extra page size so it's not reaching till end next thing in the code is this rotate 50 degree so each image uh is actually at 50 degree rotation at the bottom of this page okay so before reaching this you could see they are rotating slightly you could see and each image has been given 50 degree so it goes from 50 degree to whatever rotation that you have given around here like this so you can see all of them just always turn left you could see all of them turn left like this and that is something that you cannot control for each individual one uh, you would need to use version 2 for that but you could change the 50 degree to negative 50 degree and then it would just turn to the opposite direction you could see now it turns to the opposite direction all of them and then the next thing is this ease option which is power for power dot out this is something that is provided in gsap because we are using gsap to do this if you go to gsap docs on this page and click on ease like this you can actually see that we are using power for out it basically means that it starts quickly and then gets slower at the end or stage or like does not move much at the end you could do preview and this is how this works you could see and that's the same way our animation is working you could see that it comes up very fast and then it's very slow at the end so based on what you want you could actually change this to power three out power two out you could do in out so it starts slower and then ends slower like this you could even create custom ones and then just copy this and then replace the ease around here where is it just replace the ease around here 
then we got duration and then negative 0.5 so that it is overlapping so before this even finishes uh, already bef and before this even reaches the end the second one has already started moving that way you can see both of them are moving together because if you don't add this 0.5 uh, it would wait for it to finish and then only the second one would come then it would wait for that to finish then the third one fourth one would come but i like to have some overlapping that's why you could see both of them are moving so you could even increase this to 0 0.8 0 0.9 something like that and it would uh, overlap a lot more you could see now it's overlapping a lot more rather than waiting for everything to come at once or uh, waiting for like this to completely finish or something these are the things that you could change in the first version which is basically uh, changing this does not matter okay so rot rotate 50 degree easing and then this one how much overlapping you want so how about we just check the second one which has more control and basically if you go in here to copy and then basically just paste it in here it would still work let's see how this goes now and you could see it is still working uh, i'll need to increase the end to be something like 1000 because by default i had kept it 300 because that would make it to have more scrolling required and you could say it still works nicely but each one has its own rotation so this one is rotating left side this also rotating left this is rotating left i think i have set everything to uh, left side let's do negative uh negative 100 for like the third one let's see what that does so one of this should rotate towards right side so the first is rotating left side second third okay see it's rotating to the right side so how about we learn how to control all of this stuff so in the second version if you go it's same instead of 300 you could use thousand percent and then this is where it changes so you could see that uh, this given zero one two three and these are basically just the order of the images so first one would be zero second would be first third fourth fifth sixth because we are using an array and array starts with zero so this is zero one two three four five so all of the code which is written in here which is for zero it is given for uh, the first image which is i don't know which one it is it is this one this is the first one and then the f first uh, this one would be the second image two would be the third image so first image second image third image fourth image okay so same as that all you simply need to do is add a y value so y is you see thousand so it is the first image is thousand pixels below from the initial location so from here it is actually 1000 pixels below our screen and then the second one is 1200 pixels this is 1700 1900 2200 2500 2700 so again it's very simple to understand uh, if i let's say add an image like this let me make this smaller if i go to my transform and then go into my offset we are basically just adding like 1000 thousand pixels of a uh, gap below here the best thing that you could do around here is rather than using pixels i know this code i think i should should have updated it but instead of using like pixels because in case someone is using like a longer screen it might be not working nicely so what you could do is type a uh, single quotation and type 120 vh so it would be like 100 vh plus 20 vh and then you could also copy this one like this paste it in here and then you would simply increase it a little like this so 120 130 and that would be like much more responsive and ideal i think i should update the code uh, at the template i i'm not going to update the template with vh so hopefully you watch this video <laughs> like this so you could see it's better to use vh around here rather than a percent uh, rather than pixels because that would just make it responsive much more nicer i should have updated it but it the idea just came it in my mind so make sure you use vh so that it is like better and more responsive 
same like increasing uh, y and then stuff then we got rotate which is simple as that which i've shown so for the first image this would be the rotate second and stuff like that east was also different and rest of it is just overlapping so this is like 0.5 50% should be overlapping like this but how about you want to add more so let's say you have more than seven images because in this one you could do for seven right because it starts with zero so this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth and then this is seventh one but what if you had like more images or less images so if you have less you have to simply just delete this much so just delete this much if you have less delete this much if you have less but if you have more you simply need to copy this much code you could see and then turn this to seven and that's all you need to do you simply need to just copy this much and then turn this to seven and that way you would be able to control your sixth image so one two three four five six so sixth one which is this one would be controlled by actually no this would be eighth image my bad because it starts with zero right so eighth image and you would be able to control with eighth image in this line so yeah that's all uh, again if you download the template i think it would be using like pixels because i'm not going to like change it uh, it's way too time consuming to uh, to all the changes and upload it again so i'll just keep it like this and then yeah that's all you need to do to make this cool effect just a quick notice that i actually have this template available for free and if you go in here you could actually find so many cool templates i have created like a paid version too like this paid templates which are like much more premium looking if you go into this one and I'm actually going to add two more at least, at, uh, two more animated menus. So if you want, you could check around here. It's a new video. And also there would be free videos for this. Okay. So if you don't want to start from uh, by this template, there would be free videos showcasing all this stuff. Okay. Like this cool and all. So yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. So goodbye.